I'm Diana Burkett Rocco, and I'm the Senior Vice President for Public Affairs and Sustainability at Alaska Airlines. My career has been a little bit winding. I've worked in science, public health, I worked on Capitol Hill on health policy issues, and I worked in the healthcare industry for a long time. We sold the company that I was working for and I was on the executive team of, and I thought about what kind of new challenge could I find where I could work on issues I cared about in a new environment. I started to think about climate change sort of in that time when I was working on public health, and I couldn't impact it as directly, but the overall environmental impacts of the climate, of how the world is changing, and the economic impacts of that were sort of things that I was curious about and wanted to better understand. But also, it's becoming increasingly a business imperative. Our customers care about it. The ability to do something positive for the business that's also positive for the world around us is a really exciting opportunity. I love flying because it just brings a different perspective. You get up in the air, you see the world in a different way. There's real beauty up in the air, sort of seeing horizons and vistas and sunrises and sunsets from the air. Many people have a desire to see the world and it is really exciting and I think really important perspective giving to travel to different parts of our country, which is huge and incredibly diverse let alone to travel to different parts of the world and learn about different cultures, we probably would be a much better world if people had a chance to do that even more often. Many of the places where we fly, including Alaska and Hawaii, you can't get somewhere else without getting on an airplane. And so we take that responsibility really seriously to make sure that we're doing that well and that we can do that well for a long time to come. Alaska has been involved in sustainability for a long time partly from that ethos of making sure that we are here to deliver for all who depend on us for a long time to come, which is essentially sort of the essence of the idea of sustainability. And a couple of years ago, we refreshed our goals and we set goals for 2025, and we set a goal of net zero carbon emissions by 2040 with a five-part path to get there. Operational efficiency, fleet renewal, our new aircraft, sustainable aviation fuel, new propulsion technology like Zeravia is developing, and high quality carbon removals only as needed to meet the gap. And then the other thing that we did is we realized that in that five part path, there's a lot of things that will require technology that don't exist today at the scope or scale or even cost that's required for the future. So we set up a, a investment arm called Alaska Star Ventures to find and enable those technologies for the future. The goal of net zero by 2040 is a really bold goal, but we knew we needed to do something that would galvanize us to move as fast as we can and to try to influence the ecosystem to create those solutions on that path to net zero. Some of the things that we found really compelling about Zeravia's approach, one of them frankly is the pragmatism. It's both visionary and pragmatic, the approach that the company is taking. Visionary in enabling this new technology, which is zero emissions for the future, and critical to that long-term path to net zero, but also pragmatic in starting with a six-seat aircraft, being the first to fly under hydrogen electric propulsion, and then building on that, continuing to iterate to get to larger and larger aircrafts over time. Um, the other thing that we really liked is the thoughtfulness about certification. The rigor around testing and thinking about certification from the beginning so that technology is developed in a way that it can be certified for commercial uh, flight down the road. So Zeravia fits into the part of our five-part path that's around new technology, including new propulsion technology. And so that was sort of the original idea between transferring a retired turboprop Dash 8 aircraft to Zero Avia, which is now at the uh, facility over in Everett, to prove out this technology and prove that it can actually fly, be used sustainably on a regional, um, on a regional aircraft and power those regional routes. One of the things that we appreciate about the relationship with Zero Avia is the opportunity to learn together. Because the more we can understand the technology that's being developed, the better we can explain it, the better we can support it in the future. And that level of transparency and collaboration is really phenomenal and something that we value in our relationship with Zero Avia.